Hello Miss, today my group will be demoing our game, which is called Space Unbound. My name is Julian Kujubin and my student ID is SWE1904876. Now, Space Unbound is a game where we control a character. This character that we are playing is a lab experiment designed to handle highly complex problem-solving situations with its super-intelligent mind. However, the character is just one of many clones created in the lab. If the character wishes to be tagged as a successful prototype, it needs to pass a lab test given to it by the scientists. If it fails, it will be turned into scrap metal like the other prototypes who failed the experiment. The character has to go through six gruesome levels of experiment rooms where its intelligence will be tested. Each experiment room will get progressively harder as the character progresses until the character reaches the end where it is deemed a successful prototype. Now, I will pass it to Ying Hao to talk about the game mechanics. Thank you Julian, my name is Ang Ying Hao and my student ID is SWE1904853. Now I'm going to start the demonstration of this game. First of all, let us talk about the basic movement in this game. As we can see, there is instruction here which shows us that A is to walk left and D is to walk right and W is used to use the bottle. However, there is no jump or crouch key in this game, which means we cannot jump and crouch. Now let us walk into a portal, and we can use W to get to the next stage. In this stage, there is UI at the bottom here, which indicates the inventory for our player, and there is item inside. So in order to use the item, we can left click on it, and left click again to place it down. However, we cannot place it under the ground or onto our player, which is invalid. And now we can use the item as a jump pad to help us to get into the next stage. In this stage, there is a obstacles and a misplaced platform here, and we can use our right click to pick the platform up. And on our top left corner, there is life left, which indicates how many life our players have and the player hit onto our stickers, they will die and spawn back onto our original spawn point and the life left will get deducted and when the life left hits zero the player will get spawned back onto a previous level now let's place the platform properly to get into the next stage In this level, which is level 1, the concept of this level is that I want to make it easy and multiple way to get out onto the portal and there is more items in the inventory and player can utilize it or they can use their creativity, their own creativity to get into the next stage. So this is one of the fastest way to get into the portal. Now we are in level 2, and I'm going to pass to Julian to explain on his level concept. Thank you Ying Hao. My name is Julian, and this is level 2, the level which I have designed. In level 2, we can see that the number of obstacles has been increased. But, because of that, take a look at the player's inventory. The number of platforms has also been increased for the players to work around. Now. This level is fairly problem-solving orientated because players have to find a way to utilize all the platforms to get to the other side, which is the portal over here. Now, there are fairly a few solutions for this level and for the optimal solution, players do not have to reuse the platforms. However, it is totally fine if they wish to do so. Here is one of the solutions to completing a level. As you can see, I've run out of jump pads to use. However, I can retrieve it and place another one. Now, there's also another solution for this level, which does not involve reusing. Let's take a look.
as you can see, I did not retrieve any of the items. Therefore, the solution to completing this level is totally up to the player's creativity. Now, I will pass it to Jia Hong for level 3. Thank you, Julian. I'm Mam Jia Hong, and my student ID is FWE1904856. I designed the third level for our game development group assignment. The purpose of the level's design is to let the user to get familiar with the provided items as well as test the user's analytical and critical thinking skills on how to pass the level. Now, let's take a look at the level design. It's quite similar to the previous levels, but look at this area. The user definitely won't be able to pass through these obstacles to pass the level. Now I will demonstrate how can we pass this level. That's all from my part. Now I will pass to Jing Heng to demonstrate level 4. Thank you, Jia Hong. My name is Fu Jin Heng, and my student ID is SWE1904854. And now I'm going to explain the fourth level inside our game. As you can see from the screen, the player will have three lives each, and each of the obstacles will be present inside the level, and there will be town sets, and there's one portal which enables the player to pass through and move to the next level. Here, I'm going to demo on how does the player will be passing through all of these obstacles and move to the next level. So at first, I'll be using one jump pad at here. Player can use this jump pad and move to this position. In order to let my player to move down to here, I'll be using another jump pad. Notice that we, our player can move in mid-air by using the key A and D based on our control to move left and right. So in order to move up to this position, I'll be using two jump pads. One I'll be placing at here at the bottom and another one I'll be placing at here. Here our player is at this position now. Note that this is not the only solution we have. Players can create their own solution based on their creativity. And by pressing W, the player can pass through this portal and move to the next level. And here we are inside the next level. And this will be the end of my demo. I will pass to Elizabeth. Thank you, Jinping. My name is Elizabeth Koo Ming Jin, and my student ID is SWE1904857. I'm going to explain about the level I designed now for our game development assignment. This particular level, which is level 5, is much like the previous levels, where we have the obstacles and the items provided in the inventory. However, as you can notice, this level is much harder than the previous levels because we're nearing the end of the game, where we only have two levels left until the game's completion. This level will test the user's sense of timing, where they need to have a good sense of rhythm to pass through certain obstacles. It also encourages users to get creative and analytical while solving the level. I'll now demonstrate on how we can go through this level.
And that's all from me. I'll now pass the time to Anand. Thank you, Elizabeth. My name is Anand Madhavan, SWE 1904851. And the level that you are looking at right now is the level that I have designed, which is the final level of the game. This is the hardest level, as players must use all that they have learned from previous levels to beat it. This level is laid out much like a labyrinth or a maze, the alternate paths that lead to death by barbed wire. Players must first take a leap down this tube, but be careful not to hit the trap at the bottom. By now, they should know that their character can move in midair and maneuver out of the way. Then, players must then put a jump pad to reach the ledge in front of them. They have to place the jump pad correctly and properly time their jump as there is barbed wire at the corner of the ledge. From here, players can use this steel block to protect themselves from falling into the pit full of barbed wire. From here on out, it's just a simple climb to the trophy using jump pad. careful about this final trap, you can use a jump pad to protect yourself from it. And you have successfully reached the trophy. Congratulations, you have won the game, completed the experiment, and now you are deemed a successful prototype. To summarize, Space Unbound, our 2D platformer game, tests the play in terms of understanding the game's mechanics, the timing and movement of the character, as well as their creative ability to solve puzzles. With an increasing difficulty curve, players will ultimately feel a sense of achievement once they get their hands on the trophy, as well as being entertained along the way. This concludes our demonstration of our game. Thank you.